This is Robin Brock, and for those of you who don't know me, I am a rock singer, songwriter, and performer. I've been writing songs for a very long time. Um, even have some award-winning songs. Today we're going to talk a little bit about songwriting. So I was going through my files the other day of, um, of the songs I've been working on, and I didn't feel like working on any of the current ones that I've been working on. So um, I thought, oh, let's just let's just go through the pile. So um, I had a pile, have a pile of, of songs and uh, that I've been working on. And so um, this one kind of stuck out to me, but as I opened it up, it, 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 it was in no form and, and it uh, wasn't, it was just, it was just um, free writing. And so usually what I do with a song beforehand, I do some free writing and uh, word association, whatever. I set my timer for usually 30 minutes and then I just let the muse take over and I write. Um, and sometimes it goes into a certain form and sometimes it doesn't. And so I just start writing whatever. I don't question it um, because with songs, that they determine where they want to go. I just did some freeform writing and I ended up with probably about 15 pages. So um, sometimes it goes that way. Um, you know, that's a really cool thing to have that much material to be able to draw from. So, but sometimes when you've got that much material to draw from, it's really difficult to determine if there's an even, even a song in there. So anyway, so... Um, uh, again, my songwriting processes, um, are always different. Like I say, the song is the one that is the thing that determines how it wants to be written, what form, whatever. So, um, so with this song, I actually, I usually, I usually have a title and uh, this one, the chorus wanted to be written first. So uh, I just, pulled some some uh, lines from these 15 pages that I had and um, that's kind of where I started. The song determines what structure it wants, what I want to say, and well actually I don't know if I want to call it the say it, it's the song. Um, Musy, my muse, um, I have a name for her. Um, we have a love hate relationship. Uh, right now we're getting along, getting along very well. Um, that's a whole other video. Um, uh, anyways, my process sometimes goes like this. I get an idea. Um, so then I set a timer for 30 minutes and do some free writing. Um, it may be a title, it may be a phrase, maybe a word that I really like. It just all depends. So, uh, I'll just write for 30 minutes. Sometimes it takes form. Sometimes it's just free writing. So, um, and so it's, it's just letting that stream of consciousness go and not, um, editing myself or anything like that. So, um, that's what I did with this song. That's, and it's been sitting here for quite a while. It hasn't really inspired me or anything like that to, to do anything much with it. So, um, I needed to do something, so because <laughs> I got it right. So once the free writing's done, I um, and if I've got enough interesting information, if something kind of looks like it's coming to fruition to be a song, I put it in a file folder, uh, like this one. Yes, they are in old school in file folders. That works for me, and that's just the way it goes. I name if it's got a title, I name it. Um, even if it's a working title, I name it. So um, then I just shove everything all in the in the in the folder, and maybe I'll work on it soon. Maybe I won't. As is in the case with this song, I I haven't touched it for a long time. I keep fold going through it, and the the problem, the issue with this song is, I have got probably fifteen pages, fifteen pages of free writing. So I need to make some sense of it. So what I usually do, I take, uh, I go through the, I go through each page. I take out the, um, lines that, um, that stick out to me that I think are interesting that, um, 
may move the song forward and I highlight them. I take a highlighter or I underline them and even after I did that, there was way too much information because I mean, a song's only so long, right? So um, what I go do from there usually, um, I don't do it that often, but if I'm stuck, this is what I do. Um, it's called the cut up process and uh, David Bowie was known for doing it. Uh, as well as a few other people like um, Bob Dylan and uh, Iggy Pop. Um, and what what you do is you take, a, uh, um, I, I take these lines and I put it in a Word doc and um, then I cut them up, put them on the floor or you can, whatever, put them on the floor or a table. I like to put them on the floor and, and uh, grab a cup of coffee and go hang out with it. And um, I cut each line up and uh you know why don't i just show you so um next time you see me that's what i'm gonna be doing 